guys. Welcome back for your next episode of Coach's Corner. Today we're going to get back onto the defense side of the ball, and we're going to talk about the 4-2-5 defense and installing the 4-2-5 defense. Let's go to the board. First, we're going to talk about our base alignment in the 4-2-5. Just like any other defense, you would like to determine your strength, so we'll put a tight end in for our first drawing and our first diagram. All right? Now, in our 4 2 5, we want to talk about starting out with an even front, which is going to be one of the key things that we talk about. A lot of people start like to talk about having an, an odd front, but we want to talk about having an even front out of our 40. Front, out of our 40. All right? Now, at our end on the strong side versus tight end, we put them in a seven technique for this diagram. We're going to play with a head up, with a head up two on both sides. Okay? And then now we're going to play with our back. All right, now in the head up two, you more so want to have your guys with your hip playing the head up even front. I kind of like the idea of having my two backers in the box and my two backers playing almost in kind of a 30, 20, 30 type uh, alignment, okay? Kind of almost in the tracks of those guys in front of them, but with a little bit of shade so they can kind of get protected from those guards climbing, linebackers climbing, and we can get down here in a hurry, all right? So this is our box play out of our front, our force players. You get a force player out here. All right, you got force players here. All right, and you're playing shell. All right, so for just for our diagram, we're talking about a cover three shell out there. All right, now, fronts out of here. All right, since we got us a strong right here, that's our trigger. We're talking about different fronts. All right, our seven technique and our five, these guys are always our force players, edge players. He's got a tight end on his outside shoulder. So this now becomes the force player. All right, inside we'll use different slants. So we'll slant strong here. Now the good part about this is that it's all gap sound. So in this front, we knowing that we want to slant strong, we know that this is our gap. This is our gap. These are our reads. We know our gap. So versus the run, we know where we should be. We know how we should fit. So we know we're stepping to our gaps first, reading and going to the ball. All right, now this will be our slant strong. Okay. All right, we get back. All right, we're from our same alignment. From our same alignment, and we want to slant weak. We slant weak. Back is now pressing to the opposite gap. Still working the same thing, but we have a tight end out here, okay? When the tight end's not in, we take that tight end out. We know when we're in some kind of a spread concept, okay? Now that end is our true force player again. He's back our, our contained player. For me, as much as I can, we would like to keep a six-man box. And we would like to keep the numbers our six versus their five, okay? Now... Here's another front for you. Pinching. All right, we still got our strong right. We pinch it inside. Back there's no what? They're pressing the opposite gap. They give us sound. We're sound. We're sound. All right. Some guys like to use the double three technique. All right. We'll go wide. Backers know they got what? They're repressing inside gap. They have to play both in gaps. And you see, we can work many games and the blitzes work off of these. So we can blitz these gaps. Right now, we're just talking about our gap control. But we can also blitz these gaps, and these guys replace each other, especially with the cover three share, which we'll talk about later on. All right? Now, our blitz gave us a bunch of different things that we can do. We can add a different look into the blitz. So now we can run out wide, bring us an inside blitz right there, a razor blitz, all right? We can come inside and we can run some stunts in here, all right? We can run some stunts in here. We can crack there, loop around, and still bring the edge blitz. And since it's a cover three concept, we know that we got to replace. Okay? Now, 
as you guys get more to this and you add your own names and you add your concepts and your schemes to your play, you can you see that you can get various looks. You can do all kinds of things. You can yak show, you can pinch, you can stem to different subjects and different points of it. You can move around, you can move your linebackers here, you can add your, your rover type players, which are like a strong safety type hybrid players, these alley players, okay, who are both, you can use them both in coverage. And then I hear guys say that I use them as two strong safety type players. Some guys will use one of them a little bigger type of linebacker. So it's different kind of possibilities. All right, these guys also are able to get back here and play some kind of shell. You know what I mean? So this is a good defense. A lot of guys are running this defense. It, it's a lot of ways to, to, to make things happen. There's a lot of ways to make things happen and disrupt the defense. All right? Here's the base concept out of the box. You know, you win on your blitz. Blitz replacement in the middle. First of all, he knows that he has to press that gap. And a few different things you can do. Like I said, outside, you can run cover three. You can get out there and do a few things we'll talk about on some next episodes. And make a few different plays. So, thank you guys for coming in, joining me today on this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching, talking about the 4-2-5 defense, and hopefully it'll help you in your scheme. All right, thank you. See you guys later.